An internal affairs investigation may soon reveal if a Chattanooga police officer's actions during a traffic stop were justified. A suspect is in custody after police say he ran into the officer's patrol car, resulting in the officer firing at the suspect's car. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin is at Chattanooga Police Headquarters right now. He joins us live with why one father believes the officer went too far. Jerry. Kim and Calvin, good evening. 20-year-old Luster Dwayne Deloney is now behind bars in Hamilton County. Today, his girlfriend's father told me um, police should think twice before firing their gun. Dressed in her pink shirt, blue jeans, and tiny pink shoes. That's all I'm concerned about. Ricky Robinson's granddaughter really matters to him. He fears what would have happened if she had been in Delaney's car that night. But he believes police officers should think twice before firing their weapons. I'm just concerned four shots and didn't stop anybody, didn't hit anybody, but what if that baby was in the car? Thankfully, Robinson's granddaughter was not in the car on Sunday, and Chattanooga police also confirmed there were no children in the car. Police say Deloney ran a stop sign and then rammed the officer's patrol car while trying to get away. Robinson believes Deloney's actions were irresponsible. We can't go around here ramming police cars and fleeing and running stop signs. I mean, you know, that's governed by certain rules and we got to follow. But he also hopes the police will reevaluate what happened. An internal affairs investigation should reveal if the officer was justified in firing his gun. Maybe the police department to rethink before they start firing a lot of shots. And this case remains an ongoing investigation. Court records show the officer involved is Officer Alex Olson. He's on paid leave now, which is policy for any officer involved shooting while police investigate. Reporting live, Jerry Askin, News Channel 9.